Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. If this is your first time tuning in, please click that subscribe button down below. And remember, likes go a long way to help support the channel. So I haven't posted anything in this past week. Uh, because uh, really, riding-wise, the weather here has absolutely sucked. Uh, it's been uh, monsoon season here in Arizona, so... Uh, if you get up in the morning and you look at the forecast and it says there's a 5% chance of rain, that 5% chance of rain can be an absolute torrential downpour and uh, dust storms and all kinds of nonsense. So this time of year, if you see the weather has really kind of any chance of being uh, potentially really crappy or even a little bit crappy, you're better to park the bike at home. However, this week, uh, I leave the bike at home. This was Wednesday. Today is now Friday. And uh, it was locked up. When I park it, uh, basically I have a covered parking spot in the place that I'm at now. And, it, you know, it's a good neighborhood, so I don't really have to worry about too much. So I thought, Wednesday, uh, my wife got home before I did. And uh, one of the neighbors, a uh, nice, uh, nice old guy that lives next door to us, tells my wife that uh, he caught some gentleman, or a piece of trash, as I'll call him, sitting on my bike. So my wife calls me and tells me this piece of information, and of course, um, you know, first I thought maybe it was just some idiot that didn't know that um, sitting on somebody's bike was uh, kind of frowned upon, uh, but real quick I, I realized that uh, the, the guy was trying to steal it. And I'll just walk it through uh, exactly kind of what happened here. Uh, so, if you look at how I parked the bike, first and foremost, I parked it with the forks locked, and they're turned towards this pole. And that right away makes it uh, pretty much impossible for somebody to stand it up and roll it forward. Uh, so the only thing they can do is try to stand it up and roll it backwards. But I also have this little $35 rotor lock on the rear tire, which means it is now... Uh, pretty impossible to roll backwards. So, you know, if I had to guess, I would say he probably sat on the bike first and tried to roll it backwards away from that post. And then when he realized that he couldn't do that, um, he probably got off the bike and, and leaned down and started looking at what that little orange tether is. The only purpose of that orange tether is to ri remind me when I get back on the bike that I have a rotor lock on there. Its intention is only so that I don't drive off and destroy my own bike. So that tether just runs across the bike. It, it pulls onto the clutch level or, or lever here, barely. Uh, you know, it's kind of dangling there. So all you have to do is pull that off, and it's and, and the, the tether is off. But this moron uh, likely thought that he had to cut this security tether. And he was sitting at the side of the bike, basically down on this side of the bike. Uh, and he was looking at that tether, and he had a razor blade in his hand. The reason I know he had a razor blade in his hand is because when my neighbor came down, my neighbor came from uh, the, the left side of the bike, and uh, this guy was sitting on the right side of the bike looking at this tether. And when the neighbor, either he noticed him walking up or the neighbor said something, whatever, this guy stood up and threw his leg over the bike and started tucking the razor blade in his back pocket. In the process, the asshole uh, cut my seat, and he cut it pretty bad. So, what makes me most angry about it is, you know, yeah, sure, it sucks he was trying to steal it or whatever, but he wasn't even doing a good job. Uh, he had a, a razor blade that he didn't even need in the course of this whole thievery. So... So basically, the guy cuts my seat, and uh, I slowed him down enough, and, and the neighbor luckily caught him. Now, if my neighbor didn't catch him, uh, is it possible that this guy's buddy would have hopped out and, and helped him move the bike around? Uh, two guys aren't going to pick up a 730-pound bike. Um, you know, but would they have tried? Would they have knocked it over? Maybe. You know, would they have got it? Uh, Probably not without a trailer or something like that, but um, they're idiots and they might have kept trying, they might have dropped it, who knows. But um, the moral of the story there is just lock the bike up and, and make sure that it's parked strategically with the, the fork lock uh, engaged. 
uh, try to make somebody's life a little bit more difficult if they're going to try to steal your stuff that you've worked hard for. Uh, ultimately, uh, the next step is if something like that happens again, file a police report. Yeah, it's it's pretty important to the whole thing. I don't know if I'm going to go through insurance for the seat or not. I really haven't gotten that far. At this point, I just duct taped it. Uh, so I am driving around a brand new motorcycle, a 2018 Heritage with duct tape on the seat, which really sucks. But, you know, I suppose it makes it look old or something. I don't know. Um, so that whole situation sucks. But, again, file a police report. It's important to the whole grand scheme of, uh, you know, your local neighborhood and, and whatnot. Uh the next step is there's a pretty damn good chance that if these guys tried this at 9.30 in the morning uh, on a, uh, you know, a normal work day, that uh, there's a pretty damn good chance they're going to come back for it and try again. And again, like I said, there's not a whole lot I can do. Um, you know, I can park it behind uh, my wife's car and, and back it in, and it's all a pain in the ass. And, and yeah, I can go through all that effort, but it's going to take me half an hour every time I want to pull the bike out to move everything around. And, um, at some point, is it worth it? Probably not. So with that being said, um, you know, basically I upped my security a little bit. People that are going to steal stuff like that are looking for a quick hit. Um, no, you know, if you add the cover on there, now they got a monkey with a cover for five or ten minutes. It's, it's a cover they've never used before, so they got a monkey around with that. Now they got a monkey around with the rotor lock. Now they got a monkey around with the lock around the pole. Now they got a monkey around with the fork lock. You're just adding five, ten minutes of things onto uh, their task at hand of stealing your stuff. And, uh, you know, there's a good chance that the more stuff you add in their way, uh, the less likely they are going to be able to uh, get away with it scot-free. Uh, the other part of that is, again, just making sure that even if they do get away with it, uh, does your community have security cameras? Can you identify these people? Um, you know, yes, there's insurance, and that's all fine and dandy. Uh, but personally, I'm more, uh, I'm more of a, a, a mindset that if this person's going to take my bike, uh, I don't want to. I don't. Yeah, I can just file insurance and, and you know fine, everything's, everything's great. But personally, I want that piece of trash to go to jail. I want them to, to uh, you know, pay the piper for their crime and, uh, you know, not just get away in life being able to steal people's stuff. Uh, that's not the world that I want to live in. It's really not the world that, um, that anybody should live in. So uh, that's kind of where I'm at. I just wanted to share that update with you that, um, you know, park your bike smartly. Uh, make sure nobody can just walk off with your stuff easily. So I, I've seen videos on YouTube of guys, like, literally on, like, a security camera. You spot them just walking the bike away because they could throw it in neutral. Uh, you know, the person didn't lock their, their forks. And, uh, you know, they can just push it away a couple blocks. And uh, and then they can monkey with it as long as they want, try to figure out how to start it or start ripping parts off of it or do whatever they're going to do. So just make that, that not be able to happen. Um, ultimately, if four or five guys show up and decide that they want to pick my bike up and throw it in the back of the truck, there's probably not a whole lot I can do uh, to stop something like that. So, uh, you know, that's kind of uh, my take on the whole thing. Uh, I'm out a $300 seat now, which really sucks. Uh, it's a brand new freaking bike. Uh, here I have a bike with 1,500 miles on it. And uh, I'm replacing a $300 seat. So, uh, you know, that sucks. But it is what it is. Uh, such is life. Life goes on. But if these pieces of trash come back and they think they're going to get it uh, easily, they won't. So, again, if this is your first time checking in, please click that subscribe button down below. And remember, likes go a long way to help support the channel and help me buy this replacement seat. So, again, we will catch you next time. So, we'll see you.